Good morning, sports fans. How are you all? How are you all with the lockdown coronavirus? It's weird, isn't it? We're into week four now. Um, three of which I've been recovering from my injury. Um, but I'm well on the men now. So uh, I think I'm going to have to look at uh, going and finding some work next week. <laughs> so uh, that's all a bit weird. But um, anyway... We're going to nerd out. Thanks to Dave, Dave Outdoors. He sent me a little challenge. Uh, and I also challenge Wild Astro, Mumford and Son, the Druid Rambler, Got to Get Outdoors, and Andy, and all of our little Shropshire gang. And you, Jock Wan, you can do one as well. Um, something I've been meaning to do for ages, and that's go through all the kit. And the challenge was to get it down to... Um, uh, you know a minimum weight so the challenge is it's a two-day hike one night uh water and food for all of that and what's the weight now i did a little bit of a a nerdy thing with me spreadsheet and i went through all the stuff and i sort of looked at what i needed to pack and weighed it all and i reckon i'm going to be coming in about 10 10 and a half kilos but we'll be interesting to see so here's all the uh here's all the kit um quilt in there, Thermarest, Lanshan 2, Jet Boil, Gadgets, First Aid, Dry Bags, Sip Mat, Water Filter, Poo Bag, a few clothes, food, uh, waterproofs, and it's all got to go into the Osprey 48. So what I thought I'd do is actually pack it um, as I go, uh, and then we'll weigh it at the end. So I've got some little luggage scales. Uh, so we can weigh the whole thing. So, um, right, we'll start at the bottom. So, this is me quilt that I keep whittering on about. Look at the size of that when it's uh, when it's out of its its normal bag, and you'll see what it'll go down to in a minute. So, one quilt. Now, what I usually do is pack in there a pair of uh, liner socks, already talked, um, and they live in the bottom of the bag so they are going to be warm and dry no matter what um, I have a dry bag for all of this now, I'm old school and uh, I was taught um, that you kind of double bag everything this is before materials were very waterproof and the most important bit of it all is your sleep kit so whatever happens to all your stuff if your sleeping bag is dry you're fine. So this will disappear into there, get all the air out of it. Straps are already attached to that. So that's that so far. And in with that goes the pump bag. They only make the, I think they do make them now. If that was a a proper dry bag, the pump sack. Um, you could that'd be it, wouldn't it? Job done. All in one, but uh, no, that's like an extra thing to take. Um, Therm Arrest X Therm. That I don't know what the weight of that is. I did I did go through and weigh some of these. Five hundred and seventy grams from Therm Arrest, and uh, three hundred and sixty for the quilt. Pretty lightweight now. So I'm a side sleeper. Uh, I've yet, well I think I've cracked the problem, I've had a decent night's sleep uh, and I need two pillows So I, because I'm quite wide, cuddly some may say, um, sleep on, on your side, I need a lot of neck support. So get that lot in there, did they fall out? For purposes of this I'll just leave them in there. So now we're just getting squashing that all the way down getting all that air out so what I do is roll it over once stick my knee on it and then roll it over again while it's still there so what I tend to do is now I've got that I can sort of mould it because what I want is it I don't want a tube I want it sort of flat that's going right in the bottom. I 
of the pack. What is, what is that way? Let's have a look. So that's the whole sleep system. Give me a zero on there. 1.7. You can see that. Sorry about that. So push that in the bottom and then sort of push it out to use the width of the pack and get it flat. I've been tinkering with this Osprey and uh, I wasn't too enamoured with it at the start, but I hadn't really tried. Um, and now I've altered some of the strapping on it and worked out how best to load it up. It's a bit, bit better. Right, in there, Lanshan 2. Included is the footprint and um, the pegs are all in there. I don't think I can show you that, can I? 1.55 with all of that in there and the, obviously the, the dry bag. Uh, get a bit of air out of that. Again, one turn, kneel on it. Get the air out. If the practice is doing this, I'm certainly with that bit, and you're in the tent because it's raining. That's when you, you're glad of a Lanshan 2, because you've got that little bit more room in there to work. So that goes in on top of that. And again, I'll sort of flatten it. I don't want a tube shape. I don't want it flat like that. Right, what's going in there next? Probably clothes. Um, I have a dry bag for everything. Um, I have got a liner for that. The trouble with a liner is you can't kind of manipulate stuff in there. So what we got in here? A pair of gloves, a little buff, a sort of micro fleece, just something to stick on when it's a little bit chilly. But the main thing you want is a down jacket of some sort. We got one of them. You won't be cold. I always wanted a decent one for years. I've got a cheaper one. Um, but when that's on and it's all zipped right up properly and cinched down and the hood's on, I tell you what, it's just like getting into bed. So again, we need the air out of there. For a for a two day a one night, I think that's probably enough as far as clothes go. Maybe a spare pair of pants or some sexy leggings like Dave's got. I've got some somewhere, but I'll, I'll save you that pain. That's going in there. Yeah, so sort I of wanted it flat rather than a shape, and just keep ramming it all the way down. Right, on top of that, um, gadget bag. Now these are my accessories. I'll put it onto this camera. This, how much does this gadget bag actually kind of weigh? There's something missing from it. A little uh, Goal Zero torch. I hang that up in the tent. Whatever, these are brilliant. I used to take a little uh, candle lantern, um, but these are Rich Parks from uh, Wild Astro showed us one of these, and uh, that was it. Sold. You can have it on different settings, dimmer, and it'll last for like 30 hours. So let's give you a little look in here. This is my little gadget bag. So in there, I will have power bank. It's quite heavy. Um, the power bank itself. 190 grams. I have got one that's half the size of that, but I'm paranoid about running out of battery. Spare battery for the head torch. Props for the uh, Spark drone. I haven't included that in this kit, but it, it'll be there. Spare GoPro batteries. A little uh, tripod -y thing for my phone, so I can uh, 
hang that up in the tent and use it as a cinema uh, or just use it as a little uh, time lapse uh, stand quite useful especially if you're doing uh, you want to do a little bit of night photography um you need to hold the phone still a little bit of a uh, pocket soap stuff tenacious tape good for repairing things a little screen wipe for the cameras and in here some hand warmers thank you to uh, my mystery box that got me those um, a little sd card reader thermo rest repair kit there's a little tiny weighs nothing plugs into your power bank look if you want a little lamp in the tent at night there's an extra little led lamp and a little cloth just to wipe the tent down in the morning anybody's got a lanshan will know all about that and a spare sd card for the gopro the drone and another little patch repair kit i don't know what that's from but i thought i'll have it in there so that all go back in there so that's like your uh I don't know, is that luxuries or is that uh, some essentials in there? You've got to have a torch. So they're going with me anyway. I'm not an ultra light backpacker. Um, can't be arsed. I, I'd rather have it than not have it. Um, but for what it is. And I look at me. Do I look like ultra light? So a few more grams. Won't hurt. Right, I'll shove that on the top live in there i've got an extra little dry bag for that um i'll probably keep in the brain um just to protect that if i need to uh cooking equipment i've got a few options i've got rather too many stoves um but i'm smitten with this thank you to uh uncle outdoors uh he's very kind gave me this um, so this is my little jet ball. I think it's a zip. Uh, it hasn't got the lighter built in, so I've got a little clicky lighter. Uh, and it all fits in there, isn't it? Pot stand, gas cartridge goes in upside down on top of that. That goes in with it, and that goes in there. And you've got a cup at the bottom. I mean, that's it. it's one thing and it weighs 407, including the gas. Um, I have got another option which is this little kit here um, which is just a MSR pocket rocket canister a little plastic cup inside there look with one of those hot things lighter so it's the same you end up in the same place as a jet boil pretty much they don't weigh much less um, there's a lighter in there doesn't quite fit with a lid on but with a little pouch you can get it 312 so yeah, there's 100 grams plus in it so if I was a gram addict I'd have that right um, food goes in there as well so I we reckon two days and one night. So what do we reckon, Dave? I've got a little pouch, insulated pouch. Because what I have changed over to, I was just trying to find, is making my own meals. You probably saw in that last little video. Get these little pouches from eBay, and um, you can put your own food in there. So I put chili, curry, um, scrambled egg, breakfasty type stuff, and um, freeze them. And the idea is that in the day they'll defrost in here, so they obviously give off a lot of condensation. So it's uh, they're in a Ziploc bag and then they're inside an insulated bag. So two days, you're going to uh, you're going to cope. So if I put that under there for you, I'll put that in there for another little angle. Get me. So got some coffees in here. Probably take a bit of milk or cream for me a cup of tea. Got some snack bars, more coffee, a little chocolate bar, grenade bar. Don't go hungry on these trips, I can tell you. More coffee, more coffee, bit of mayo, sweeteners, 
little tissues, I don't know what they're doing in there, but more coffee. Uh, and then uh, meal wise, I'll either take those uh, frozen ones or I've added in a Wayfarer ginger pudding and uh, pasta carbonara. Uh, and I did have another one to go in there to sort of give it the right weight. But two meals and, and there's a breakfast somewhere, but I would take that as um, porridge, make my own little porridge meal up. So basically, I'm working on the uh, theory that. If it won't fit in there, it's too much. So I reckon filling that little pouch for two days is plenty. So that can go in there. Now what I put there, I put that in the top of the pack, in the brain. So I put that in there. So I can get it out without getting into the whole bag and me lunch. I don't need to undo the whole pack apart from just grab the jet boil off the top. Okay, um, waterproof sort of on the top. Um, cheap Aldi waterproof trousers. They go on there. Uh, and for summer, I've got this little rub, um, rub spark. But it's a half decent waterproof coat, but it is a lightweight one. Probably wouldn't want to be in rain all day with that. You do need waterproofs if you go camping with Dave outdoors. You guarantee rain. And the other little thing is a little first aid kit. So I've kind of torn two ways here. I have this little first aid kit, which is the basics. Paracetamol, ibuprofen, Sting anti sting bite, there's a lighter in there, a little pair of scissors, some rennies, some plasters, some compede. These are things that you've got to have with you, really, if you're going out in the sticks. Uh, and there's a few other little bits some antiseptic wipes, a couple of burn, um, burn gel, um, sterilized water. If you've got something in your eye, you can wash it out. There's a little tiny torch in there. And uh, and that's about it really, just basics. And I use that little first aid kit wherever I go. If I'm out on the bike, that's the one I, I lob in the back of my pack. What does that weigh? Not a lot. 235. Uh, I'm not going home with, going anywhere without that. Uh, so that lives in that little pouch there. Um, I have an extra, which sometimes, if I, I'd say if I was going a bit longer, or a long hike, um, talc, um, zinc oxide tape, this is for blisters, midgy net, never leave home without it, sun cream, oh, another repair kit, probably don't need that, emergency chocolate, Emergency coffee, more emergency coffee, emergency hot chocolate. There's a theme going on here, isn't it? Earplugs, they probably ought to be in that one. And um, midgy spray. Um, and there's a few purification tablets. So, yeah, if I was going a bit longer, I would probably have all that and put that first aid kit in here. Probably don't need all them coffees. Coffee's everywhere. Uh, so for a two day, I'm not taking that. Probably got enough with what I've got. I'll leave that one out. A bit buff there, I don't need two buffs. I'll put that aside. Um, poo bag. So a little trowel, little lightweight juice trowel. Wet wipes. A little more more hankies, more of those wet wipes that come with the ration packs and some white, um, not white, antibacterial, god that stuff's like bloody gold dust in it, better keep quiet I've got a bottle of that and a lighter. Uh, I've managed to go most of my life without ever using this, always managed to uh, find a toilet somewhere or 
hold on till I do find one, borrow a pub or something, so I don't really fancy pooing in the outdoors, but you've got to have it, haven't you? So that's going to go in the side pocket, ready for action. Uh, a little, uh, while we're on the subject of toilets, somebody showed me this idea. Got a width on there, just about squeeze him in there. <laughs> so this is for uh, night time. When you get to my age and you want to wee in the night a couple of times and it's cold, um, that's quite a revelation. I thought about keeping it in the bed at home actually. I don't think it would go down very well, would it? Right, so I shove that in the side, so that's there for that. Uh, and then the other thing is um, water filter. So I use the sort of dirty water bag is the Seenock bag. Um, and this Seenock filter fits on the end of that thread. So basically you fill that up with your water out the stream and it's gravity fed and it'll just either squeeze it through or it'll trickle through. But I've bought this little end for it and a little bit of tube and that connects into the Osprey Hydro Pack system. So that's poking out the back of my rucksack. That's the tube that I'm using. Down to me, I just unclip that. That's poking out the rucksack. I clip in that and then squeeze me clean water and fill me bladder back up and then just disconnect that. That's all waiting there and then clip it back in and I'm good to go again. So basically the bladder stays in the pack. Uh, the only disadvantage of that is you never really tell how much is in it. Uh, you have to sort of guess by how much you've put in and um, it take two minutes just to check. But I've not got into the smart bottle thing um never done it don't really try and avoid stuff dangling around you i may come to that i don't think many people use these uh bladders um no water in that so i'm gonna have to allow another kilo on i so we did say uh the deal was it you had to have a liter of water to make it a fair test so that goes through there Fiddling with this. Might as well do it right, haven't we? The idea, the idea of this is you only do this once. Like I say, and once the bladder's in the pack, the pack's all cinched down, and uh, you don't have to fiddle taking the thing in and out to fill it up. I think that's all that goes in the pack, actually. So I would um, pull that up, there's a strap isn't there, I don't know if you can see this, folks. There's a red strap that'll sort of pull all that together over the top. This is what I didn't really practice with the Ospreys, getting to grips with how they're meant to be used. So you sort of pull all that down, pull all that up, let's tighten that, and you've got that flat just to put over the top and then obviously you've got the side straps as well which again they actually weren't threaded right when I first got it which is why I couldn't get the pack to behave itself um, so yeah just I digress the water kit goes in the other side pouch so it's handy so obviously when you find a water source you don't want to be getting any pack you just want to whip that out of there Top up your bladder and go. So that can come over the top. So we want head torch, I can see head torch. Nearly forgot. I'll leave that in the brain as well, because if you need that, you're gonna need it, aren't you? You just want to know where it is. Um so that's that. In there, a little rubbish bag. 
to gather up your rubbish as you go and then you'll find a bin I will recycle it sunglasses we'll put them in there or the brain I only thought of that a few minutes ago um, I have this little uh, thing which again is in my mystery box um, I never thought much of these I would probably never have bought one but uh, it is really handy just to put in front of your door for your tent and just kneel on as you sort of catapult yourself in and on an osprey that lives very nicely um, down there it really doesn't cause any problem for that ventilation and it sort of sits there ain't gonna go anywhere uh, and it's handy so if you do have a little stop you can uh, pop that out uh, when I got this Osprey, mine is the newer one, I don't know when they changed the design, but they got rid of a few things, they added a couple of bits, but they got rid of the hip belts, they got rid of the hip belts and the little pouch on the shoulder straps, um, that's one of the reasons I liked it, anyway, we, we've overcome, um, I found these in Decathlon, so that's like a little uh, hip belt of its own, and in there I would have a um, couple of little protein bars, um, maybe the, a GoPro battery, a bit of money, stuff like that. So, to be honest, there's nothing in there at the moment, even though that's part of it. Um, but that is the main bag. Are we weighing trekking poles as well? Are we including them? I guess we are, even though technically they'd be in your hand. Um, but what we're doing today, I'll put them on. They just clip on there when they're like that. Right, moment of truth. Have the scales. Where's the little loop? Right. Come on. We are at naught. 10.3 okay and I haven't got a litre of water in there yet and I haven't finished yet <laughs> okay Dave you win on that one mate I think yours was nine and a half wasn't it um battery pack and things like that probably uh, add to that now there's another little addition which I am including um and that's my uh my little fanny pack um I don't know if I've talked about this or not I probably haven't it's a chest chest harness uh, and the idea of this is you wear it first, do it all the way up, so you wear it there and then you whip your rucksack over the top. Um, uh, I got it because of the drone, um, when you're using the little spark drone and you just want to take a little shot of you walking, it was a pain having to stop and unpack the bag and get it out, do the shot, put it all back and then carry on, you want to do it. So this little pack will sort of sit there, the drone will sort of fit against the back and the spark drone will fit in there you can have a look as well uh, the spark will fit in there with the controller um, and a battery I keep the other couple of batteries in there in there oh look more food more coffee and this is my little pouch so in here I have a little folding cup and my thought on that you see if you get to uh, a little camp little stop uh, and Dave whips his jet boil out first He's very kind hearted and he'll boil up a pot full of water. So I'll then bother getting mine out. I'm going to use my gas. Uh, uh, so I'll just have uh, put my cup out, got my little spork. In here I've got some coffees, of course. There's one here. So I'll just have a coffee and use his water. Uh, more snacks. Um, a little tiny multi tool thing. Um, Compede stuff. I'm probably doubling up on some things, but hey ho. Um, bit of money. Peg. I wonder what the hell that's for. When you're doing a time lapse in the wind, um, I can peg my GoPro um, to the ground, stop it blowing away. We did that one section of the uh, Heart of Wales line, uh, and we were trying to do these lovely time lapses because the clouds were billowing past. Uh, but the cameras kept blowing over in the wind. Uh, spare SD card, GoPro batteries. Um, and the, the clever thing about this is it sits there like a little desk. 
so you can unzip it stuff doesn't all just fall out of it um it'll, these are little compartments and there are other bits that i've taken out to add even more little sections and dividers but really it's just a big bag um but it's where you want it so you can take the pack off and leave that on um and you've got your mug and your spoon on waffle now aren't I? so that's the idea of that so i'll put that in there so i don't know a couple of bars me peg the thing itself is not made for lightweight so i don't know what this weighs it's going to add another bit in it come on 700 grams it's not much is it 0. 0.7 of a kilo 700 grams so, yeah add that to me 10 um so i'm nearly 11 but to be honest i don't really count that because wearing that is uh hardly anything uh the only bit i forgot was me hat but again i'll be wearing that when i go have that so it's sunny it's just so stylish okay i think that's it so whatever we were ten and a half and what did i have on here summer kit list ten seven I estimated it at um, so bloody hell that was close uh, I did work out on the basis that if I left out a lot of those gadgety things spare battery battery pack cables um, medical kit different food um, probably get that down to eight three I don't, I'm not sure I could actually. Um, so yeah, um, there you go. There's my summer kit list. Um, I might make another little video on a winter kit list because I would change out some of the stuff uh, for winter. But I haven't really been camping in the winter, so it's all theoretical whether uh, whether I have got the right stuff. But I would be happy going on a night or even two nights um, with what I've got there. And 10 kilos on your back. Um, that's comfy. That is, that's a comfortable pack. So it took me a little while to come to terms with it because these straps were all woven around the outside of the pockets. So I couldn't really use the, um, I couldn't tighten the pack down very much. But now I've played with it a bit and sorted it out. You can now actually tighten up these um, little compression straps uh, and your pockets are still available there's quite a lot of room in there actually room for a couple of cans of lager maybe a bottle of wine um a load of stuff in there massive pouch on the back um, yeah okay so hope you lot have got the gist of what we're doing challenge to you all um i'll go and edit that now that was fun um yeah, stay safe everyone, stay at home. Hopefully uh, this pandemic will subside a little bit. Uh, and if it's safe to do so, we'll be back out in the hills as a little group of us, keep in touch with each other. And, uh, well, you know, it's, it's just ironic, isn't it? The weather's been pretty, pretty lovely. Um, and we've all been doing the right thing. We've been staying at home and uh, waiting for better days. Uh, Makes you appreciate, doesn't it, uh, nature and freedom <laughs> and all of those things that a lot of us probably took for granted. And uh, I, I hope we uh, remember it when we go back to our normal life. Um, how, how much of a sort of gift all that is. Um, and uh, so I certainly do anyway. I shall be uh, looking forward to just going out into the countryside and uh, seeing it for what it is. Anyway, I'm waffling. Stay safe, everyone. Hope you're all well. And uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Ta-da!